welcome to another session of Sports Quiz, precisely the Cricket Quiz with Edopedia series of General Knowledge Quiz. This is the third session of Cricket Quiz and I hope you're enjoying it. As we go on, I'm sure you'll find it to be easier as you've been learning a lot of things in the last two sessions. So let's move on straight away to the first question for the day. Here we have. Who is the first Indian to play an international game? And your options are A. Kumar Sri Ranjit Singh Ji B. Amar Singh C. C. K. Naidu or D. Iftikhar Ali Khan Patodi You have 5 seconds as usual and your time starts now. And friends, the answer to this question is Kumar Sri Ranjit Singh Ji. Ranjit Singh Ji, after whom the Ranji Trophy is named, was the ruler of Navanagar. And he played 15 test matches for England, wherein he scored 200s and 650s, his highest score being 175. And you must know that he scored a century in his debut match. In the first innings, he scored 62 and in the second innings, 154 not out. He was considered the best batsman in the world during the initial days of international cricket. He debuted for England against Australia in the year 1896. Moving on, let's take the second question for the day. Which of the following Indian royal did not play cricket for the English team? Your options are A. Ranjit Singh Ji B. Dilip Singh Ji, C. Ganshyam Singh Ji, or D. Iftikhar Ali Khan Patodi. And the answer is Ganshyam Singh Ji. Well, all the three, Ranjit Singh Ji, his nephew Dilip Singh Ji, and Iftikhar Ali Khan Patodi, played cricket for England. And Iftikhar Ali Khan went on to play three test matches for India, but it was Ghanshyam Singh Ji, the Prince of Limdi, who could not play either for India or for England, although he was selected for the first test match in 1932 in the Indian team, but unfortunately he strained his back just before the test match in practice match and could not play for either team. Alright, so let's move on to the next question for the day. Who among the following was not out for a golden duck in both the innings of a test match? Your options are A. Virendra Sehwag B. Ajit Agarkar C. Bhagwat Chandrasekhar or D. Maninder Singh And the answer is Maninder Singh well, Golden Duck in both the innings is referred to as King of Pair. Now, King of Pair had befallen three Indian cricketers and they are Virendra Sehwag, Ajit Agarkar and Bhagwat Chandrasekhar. Manindar Singh was out for a pair of duck on his debut match against Pakistan in Karachi in the year 1982-83, but that was not for a Golden Duck. Well, for more information on this question, can go back to our previous quiz that is quiz number seven question number two we have details of all the pays discussed in that question so for now let's move on to the next question for the day who is the first indian to take a hat trick in an odi your options are a chetan sharma b harbhajan singh c zaheer khan or d anil kumble And the answer is A. Chetan Sharma. Chetan Sharma achieved this feat against New Zealand in the 1987 World Cup at Nagpur and he was the first Indian to take a ODI hat-trick. Going on to the next question. Who is the first Indian to take a hat-trick in a test match? The options are A. Kapil Dev B. Harbhajan Singh 
C. Irfan Patan or D. Bishan Singh Bedi. And the answer is B. Harbhajan Singh. Well, Harbhajan Singh took the first hat-trick of a test match for India against Australia in the year 2001. Now, moving on to the next question for the day. How many Indians have taken a hat-trick so far in the international games? So, continuing with the hat-tricks. Your options here are A. 5 B. 6 C. 7 or D. 8 And friends, the answer is A5. So, five Indians have taken hat-trick in different forms of the game so far. Let me enlist them in the chronological order. The first hat-trick was taken by Chetan Sharma in an ODI against New Zealand in the year 1987 World Cup and happened on 31st October 1987 and that remains the only hat-trick in a World Cup so far. Next, it was Kapil Dev who took a hat-trick against Sri Lanka in the 1990-91 Asia Cup at the Prophilic Eden Gardens on 4th of January 1991. That was also in an ODI. Next, it was Harbhajan Singh who took the first hat-trick of a test match against the Australians at Eden Gardens on 11th of March 2001. The fourth to take a hat-trick was Irfan Pathan against Pakistan at Karachi on 29th of January 2006 in a test match and this happened in the first over itself and this is also the only hat-trick which an Indian has taken outside India. And finally the fifth hat-trick was taken by Kuldeep Yadav once again against Australia at Eden Gardens, India's luckiest crowd on 21st September 2017 in an ODI. So that was all about the hat tricks. Let's move on for now to the next question, the seventh for the day. Who was the first Indian to score a century and take five wickets in an innings of a test match? Quite a feat. The options are Lala Amarnath, Vinu Mankat, Polly Umrigar, or Chandu Bode. And the answer is Vinu Mankat. Vinu Mankat was the first Indian to score a century and take five wickets in an innings in a test match against England at Lords in the year 1952. Mankat was the first player in more than 30 years to score a hundred and take five wickets in the same test match and the first Indian to achieve this. He is one of the very few to achieve this at the lots. All right, so let's move on to the eighth question for the day. Who has taken the first ODI wicket for India? Your options are A. Bishan Singh Bedi, B. Madan Lal, C. S. Venkat Raghavan, or D. Eknath Solkar. Well, friends, the answer is Eknath Solkar. Eknath Solkar was a great all-rounder and he was called as poor man Sobers because he could ball both fast and slow. He took the wicket of Dennis Amis, the English opener, in the first ODI which India played in the year 1974 when he bowled Amis LBW for 20 runs. Eknath took both the wickets of English openers in that game. Marching on to the ninth question. Who is the first Indian to score 50 runs and take a 5 wickets haul in a single ODI? Your options are Kapil Dev, Chris Srikant, Ravi Shastri or Manoj Prabhakar. And the answer is Chris Srikant. Krishnamachari Srikanth was the first Indian cricketer to score 50 runs and take 5 wickets in a single ODI match. He achieved this feat against the New Zealand 
at Vishakhapatnam in the year 1988. He went on to score 70 runs and took 5 wickets for 27 runs in that match. Well, moving on to the last question for the day. Here we have. Who is the first Indian cricketer to score a century in all the three formats of a game? This should be quite easy. Your options are A. Sachin Tendulkar B. Virendra Sehwag C. Suresh Raina or D. Virat Kohli Well friends, the answer is Suresh Raina. Suresh Raina is the first Indian cricketer to score a century in all the three formats of international cricket. He scored 101 against South Africa in T20, that's his only T20 100. In the test match also he scored just 100 where he scored 120 runs and in ODI he scored 5 centuries with the highest being 116. Well friends, that's all we have for today. But we will be continuing with the questions on cricket. I'm sure you must be loving it. So do share it with your friends. Pose them a challenge. And let's wait for the next round of questions on cricket. Till then, bye-bye.